what I consider to be the, the, progress, the evolution of a JavaScript coder. So, when, when, so it goes something like, when someone's just starting out, they, they, at least a programmer coming into JavaScript, is something like, oh man, everything is a reference. This is great. You know, it's, it's objects. I can understand this. You know, it, I understand how this works. And then, then they realize that they can do object-oriented code. And, you know, this, it's sort of quirky. They kind of understand it. They're doing object-oriented. And then suddenly it clicks how to do object prototypes. And then, you know, the, there's, you can see this. You can usually tell how someone's advanced through JavaScript. Where they hit some point and they're like, prototypes, I understand. And then they try and they do everything with object prototypes. And then I think the, the final progression of a JavaScript coder is when they realize that all the other stuff's good, but it's all about closures. And that, there's, that their code just suddenly becomes this, this giant closure minefield of different scopes and contexts. And so the, there's, a, there's a couple... Uh, uh, quite a few coders who I really aspire, uh, who have you know fantastic use of closures in their code, and is just really a thing of beauty.